Oh yeah. How excited are you, my friend? <laughs> Just love wild camping on it, boy. Right then guys, uh, it's a race against uh, time here, yeah? because it's going to be dark now, literally uh, in like 10-15 minutes, so yeah, I come out a bit late today on this one, and uh, I just found uh, my first wild camping spot over here, but anyway, so still in view, so I'm hoping to uh, wake up tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a, a sunrise. Fingers crossed. This is probably the best uh, day I've come across in the last month on my day off work. So yeah, fingers crossed we get a sunrise first thing in the morning. So yeah, I better get a, get a crack on and uh, start getting a tent up. I get back to you. Looks like I got a westerly wind, so yeah, the breeze is still at me. I'm not quite sheltered. If the wind was coming the other way, then uh, yeah, it would have been it would have been a little bit better. 
So there you go. Hey boy. Yeah, just uh, still in the middle of setting up. Um, just having a quick break a minute. Because I am stopped, man. Honestly. And uh, don't think Jasper's too happy. Yeah. You don't want to be on the lead, do you? Yeah, so Jasper's uh, been sulking for the last half hour we've been here. I'm sure he felt a bit of rain then. But, uh, yeah, who knows what the weather's going to do, eh? There's no forecast. Until tomorrow afternoon, actually. So, we should be good without rain. That's what I wanted, just one solo while I can't without rain. <laughs> That's absolutely standing up yeah, guys. Somewhere in the Brecon Beacons. Oh yeah. Jasper, you're supposed to lie on the insulated mat, not off it. You just literally kicked it off yourself. <laughs> crazy, crazy dog. Right then guys, so uh, this is my setup for the night. Uh, same seating bag, that's my last well camp. The climate, insulated mat, and if there, we got some carpet underlay and then a uh, ripstop reflective material. And the different setup I got this time is to do with the pillows. The last time, well, the last time I had the V-mat, uh, sorry, the V-quilt, and yeah, that was gone. That was up in a reservoir somewhere, that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare, man. Yeah, I don't know if you watched the last video. Well, not my video, but Twin Peaks while camping, then... Uh, yeah, you might want to check that out. Uh, right, what I've done, I got two Trekology pillows. And I got the one with a strap and one without the strap. So what I've done, I've just put the one without the strap, just pushed it underneath. Swap free, I stay in place. I just can't handle one pillow. It's just, it's just not high enough for me, so... Yeah, so I'm going to try this out tonight. I brought something else with me I wanted to try. And it's a sack. If you put it inside out, it becomes a pillow. If you stuff it with your jacket or whatever clothes you got on now, just put all that in and then that becomes a nice pillow so yeah I've had this for a while uh, I haven't used it yet so I'm going to give these Trekology pillows a try tonight now and uh, see how I get on with them if not then I'm going to give this this a try right as you can see guys yep messy as usual got my radio with me I just had to turn that off Obviously, I can't have any music playing out in the background. Uh, Pepper Armies. We've got some wraps to go there. Up here. Got my light. My lighthouse. And... I don't know how you say that, is it? You go. Yeah, i got a nice little lantern to put on later. That'll be uh, nice and uh, cosy. He hasn't been out for a while, so he got a bit excited earlier. But I think he's still sulking. It's my Hellnox chair. Chair Zero. So 
going to turn this bit bright there. Whoop. And this is my surroundings. Yeah, um, come on, come on. So I, so a great little uh, camp spot, yeah, to be honest with you. Got a wall behind me, and I got myself a bottle of wine. So, yeah, day off work. Yeah, this is my day. So I'm just going to chill and have a few drinks. I also brought a uh, Northern Monk. Uh, this one's ice cream flavour and this is a strong one as well, this is a 6.2% of this one. So yeah, ice cream flavour. Looking forward to trying this one. Something different. Yeah, so it's my jet boil over there. Uh, I might show this later. I was gonna have a fire, but I don't think I'll bother now. And use the ultra light folding table, which is, uh, yeah, it's starting to look, look a bit battered to be honest with you. I think where I've been shoving it in my pack is, uh, yeah, starting to get a bit mangled. I still got Jasper on the lead, because, uh, yeah, I don't want him running off, especially in the dark. Just wanted to mention, guys, that these are the Solomons I should have wore the last trip uh, when we uh, was at the reservoir in the Brecon Beacons. Uh, it was a soaking wet day. The water was just coming up over my ankles and everything. And my other Solomons, I know were cut versions, but uh, these are ankles. Yeah, wet conditions. Don't go about these ones. Hmm. That's not bad at all. I like that one. I think I'll give that one a 7 out of 10. Yeah, it's a good one. Ice cream, oh yeah. I don't know what it is with these guys, but they just so they just I don't trust it. You need straightening a while, but. Might try this for my wraps. Oh yeah, the famous chocolate pudding. I will have you tonight. Oh yeah, the menu tonight, guys, is a tin of big breakfast. I've tipped the tin into these. Boiling the bags, uh, which I purchased off eBay. Uh, really good bit of kit these are. 
if you want to save money on uh, the way the wayfarer meals. I don't know if you can see our guys, but it's pretty cold. But I got the right gear on, so I'm lovely and warm. Another awesome piece of kit, guys. It's by Montaigne. And these are my gloves. Yeah, these are these are mega lightweight. These are, and I just pack up really small as well in a little pouch. Um, Pertex Quantum and I made in the United Kingdom. I got I love Montaigne, good uh, good company. Uh, Moose Outdoors was mentioning these the other day, uh, saying how good they are. So I'm glad I got these. Yeah, so if you're looking for a pair, a pair of really good gloves, then uh, these might be. Uh, Worth checking out. Another pair of warm gloves, especially if you're in a tent. Uh, these are down filled and I ordered them from China. I haven't used them yet. I've brought them out with me. So I've got a tag on them. So I don't know if I'm going to use them tonight, but uh, obviously we're in China and it's by. Eggy Max, Eggs Max, Edges Max. So, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't tell if they're any good yet because uh, I've never used them before. And they're the same make as my down booties. And these are good purchase as well. Recommend these. And you've all seen my down trousers. In my past videos. So yeah, recommend these as well. Awesome. I also bought this mat for the dog as well. And the good thing about it, inside you've got the reflective material. And yeah, they should uh, keep them pretty warm from the ground. That's if I can get him to stay in there. Because he just wants to be with me all the time. See what I mean? I also got this sponge. Which I pinched off the wife. So like any condensation in the night. Or in the morning. I can... Uh, Wiped down the tent. Obviously that's from my uh, jet boil. A titanium long spoon and a piece of kit for getting to the bottom of your boiling in the bag. Always that always comes along with me. Ah. 
and it's been about 15 minutes so should be done oh yeah there yeah, Josh you'll have yours in a minute I'll take him outside to have his because uh, yeah he makes a mess Looks good, man. <sighs> the size of our sausage. That's huge! <laughs> Just drop the bean on the floor. You want some of that, I don't know. Oh yeah! I'm gonna finish this now and i get back to you later. <sighs> I don't know if you can notice this though guys. It's like a... Uh, it's a bit of thread hanging from my zip up there. Yeah, uh, I need to cut that off. It's a great tent, but it's not perfect. But well, I give Jasper his food. He didn't want to eat there. Two interesting treats. So he's here now, being spoiled to death. No, spoiled to death. Jasper loves treats. My fair play. It's a cold one up here tonight. I can see the moon over there. Some of the stars are out. Yeah, the sky's getting pretty clear now. So I can imagine this being a, a frosty night, frosty morning. Oh yeah! Just want to give a shout out to Lee, Lee Del Fugo. If I said that wrong, my apologies. But fair play to you, uh, Lee. Absolutely amazing, man. Flipping, just like contacting me, asking me if I wanted this. It's a Tyvek uh, ground sheet, and it's been cut to the shape of the tent uh, which is great because obviously you can have it inside the vestibule because the original ground sheet to this only covers underneath the bathtub so yeah I'm happy with this uh, I tipped a little bit of candle wax on it earlier mind <laughs> I accidentally knocked my uh, lantern over but yeah it's still fine there's no holes in it um, yeah, cheers for that. And uh, if I give a shout out as well, uh, he's on Instagram. He uh, puts up some uh, awesome content. Uh, most of his uh, funny stuff, but brilliant. Nice one, buddy. There's another channel I want to give a shout out to, and that's Mark from Welsh on Walkabout. He started his channel nearly a year ago. Uh, he's put up some awesome content. Uh, it's all about wild camping. So, head over to his channel, give him a sub. 
he's an awesome guy. Yeah, you might like him. You might like his content. So, give him a sub, guys. I'll leave a link for his channel in the description below. Right then, guys. Just watched a movie on the, on the phone. Hanging up there. And, uh, yeah, he watched by YouTube as well. The English Woodsman. He got a new video out. The uh, Stealth Camp. I was right. That's worth a watch. And, uh, catch you in the morning. Good night. That's what happens with zips sometimes. I uh, just woke up and uh, yeah, outside is uh, foggy, wet, yuck, miserable, damp. So all I'll do now is uh, make a cup of coffee and then pack up from inside the tent and then make a move shame about the weather Got a nice coffee free and win. And for breakfast. Just a music bar guys. That's my cup guys. It's a container which is used to protect the bottom of the jet boil. I don't know about everybody else, but I always use baby wipes to clean anything really. Oh, I gotta wait for that to cool down. <laughs> A little bit hot. Oh yeah! A chocolate one. A chocolate one.
Mm. You wake up, it's raining. Go to bed, it's raining. It just rains every day. Just have to get out in the rain. Mooster man, this is for you, sunshine. Oh yeah! <laughs> right then guys, stop raining and look at that <laughs> that looks awesome I think I'll do a time lapse on that now so I'll have to pack up now pretty quick because uh, it is uh, due to rain again later so Packed up, ready to get out of yeah. here. It's gonna start raining soon, so I better get a crack on. Uh, you know where he was? Leave no trace. Literally nothing left behind. It was as if I wasn't even here. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, before I go, I want to give a shout out to another YouTuber. Uh, well, he's just about to start his channel, and the name is Bali Camper. I think that's what he was called anyway. Um, I'll leave a link below in the description. Uh, he's already posted one video just uh, explaining about himself, who he is, and uh, why he wants to get into this hobby. So, yeah, get over and check his channel out. He's planning a few wild camps now throughout the winter, so. Yeah, should be great to see some of his videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Like this. Oh yeah. <laughs>